Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans, droids, Catamundi Cone Heads. Welcome to today's video here on On Old Holiday News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. To today's video where we are going to be unveiling the last batch of requirements for Lord Vader. put a toddler in front of the keyboard and they started mashing buttons and the only buttons they know are seven and eight oh my gosh absolutely mind blown with the requirements i'm sorry to say it for all those people that were fanboying like me this was the character you want this is the reason we've been waiting galaxy years for so many years waiting for lord vader to show up this is by far the most out of reach galactic legend to get in terms of relic requirement granted no watt tambor needed so i guess in some way lord vader is going to be more available than jedi master coming but holy cow four relic eight uno dos tres cuatro Last watch it steady eins fine drink nine is that how you say it i don't get the protocol droid i just can't believe it oh hey 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 hey, 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 hey hold on at least i predicted two right I called out Arc Trooper and people are like, oh, no way they're gonna require Arc Trooper. Well, they gotcha! But no one has an uh, no, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll take this back. I do see some very elite rosters have Relic 8 inside their back pocket, but a Relic 8 Arc Trooper and a Relic 8 General Anakin Skywalker are gonna be needed. Now, we've already know about Anakin Skywalker. That shouldn't be too surprising. Relic 8 Arc Trooper is the new one on this list. That makes four Relic 8 requirements for Lord Vader and Star Wars Galaxies. And frankly, the rest of these are just absurd out of the uh, unexpected Relic 7s that we need to get for Lord Vader. All right, we're gonna cut it short here. Relic, uh, you need a seven star Republic Y-Wing. Uh, we were expecting Malevolence, but hey, uh, Y-Wing is a little bit more accessible than getting a Malevolence, so I'll take that. A lot of people already have Republic Y-Wings up around the BLT sandwich for the Galactic Republic speedy fast delivery for the negotiator lineup, so that shouldn't be too bad right there. Grand Matarkin needed at Relic 7. <laughs> oh, jeez. Grand Matarkin is already one of the lesser important units for the empire yes there are use him but there is no reason to get him up and running i guess the only benefit good point gary is that a relic seven grandma tarkin will be great for the empire fleet if you have a leftover fleeter i like the person use the executrix with my imperial roster so all right fine great for a capital ship but this is just totally unnecessary relic eight arc trooper as you're seeing right there on the screen at least oh gosh I just <laughs> what happened to relic fives and threes I mean, did we forget that there's numbers below seven and eight for Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, and we have Relic Nine sometime around the corner in the next month or so. Absolutely mind blown that they have the audacity to require a Relic Eight Arc Trooper. Let's look at the upside. Uh, he's kind of the hardest hitting uh, clone on the team aside from Captain Rex's aerial advantage. So, all right, in the 501st lineup, it's going to be pretty good. And plus, we're getting some buffs. The General Anakin Skywalker alongside those nerfs to him. So Archer might be a bit more pivotal for that 501st lineup. And then we have General A to Relic, uh, Relic, uh, Relic 8, General Anakin Skywalker. Totally uh, understandable. We kind of knew that was coming a mile away even before we saw the rest of these requirements. And I, I predicted this correctly. Newt Gunray. But holy cow. Relic 7. What the heck? Oh, Relic 7 new cover. He's a support character. And preferably people like a lesser relic in geared up Newt Gunray. So that way they can try to get him to get Metalloid Monstrosity off for General Grievous. This is going to be a relic that's not really useful in the game unless this guy gets a capital ship at some point. Oh, what a mess of requirements. All right, let's just take a look over at the game and see what we're looking at in total right now. So these are the complete requirements that we have for Lord Vader. It started off okay for the most part 
We got the Bad Batch Crew Hunter, Tech Wrecker, and Padme Amidala. Padme Amidala being needed at Relic 8, while the Bad Batch needed at Relic 5, which is a respectable level for the Bad Batch. Only thing downside, the Bad Batch still kind of in that Marquee-ish status where you can't quite farm them quickly, but they are free to play and farmable for a little bit now. Tusken Raider, that was the first meme. Okay, fine. We thought it was funny. Cool how you got us there. So that's where we are so far with the first requirements. Then moving on over to the second batch requirements, Relic A, uh, Relic 5 Embo, because we know Embo is so pivotal to the upbringing of General Anakin Skywalker. I think Embo is honestly the tipping point that led Anakin to turn into Lord Vader. I mean, Dave Filoni, thank you so much for that 10 to 20 second interaction with Embo and Anakin Skywalker in the Clone Wars. 5-0 first Echo, makes sense. Bad Batch Echo, okay. So we have, the, at least the good thing is so far, you're getting a Bad Batch team. And the great thing is no high single fire damage, AKA Omega needed for the requirements. And that's great because these four alone, Echo, Wrecker, Tech, and Hunter, that's pretty much all you need. They take out so much top 10 team, even without Omega into the mix. But then we got to that Relic 8 Dooku and Relic 7 Zam West. So that's when it got nasty. A Relic 8 Count Dooku. Oh. Oh. Hey, at least it's free Rancor food. Or on the upside, it could help a little bit more in that Asajj Dooku mission in Genos' Terra to Battle Dark Side. But to be honest, a Relic 8 Dooku is not needed. I was getting it done at Relic 5 or 3 with Count Dooku. And then now we have our latest batch here with the seven star Republic Y-Wing, Relic seven Grand Matarkin, Relic eight Arc Trooper, Relic eight General Anakin Skywalker, and Relic seven Newt Gunner. All right, all right. <laughs> Go on, Greg Everano, direct the video game division. Let's dial it back a little bit. I just, I just, I'm beyond baffled. This, unless you're spending money, is gonna be a very far out there galactic legend for people to acquire. But on the upside, like I said, if you're wailing out of those Relic eight packs, this is actually fairly easier in a way than Jedi Master Kenobi because Jedi Master Kenobi has a guild element to it, whereas this, no guild element needed. So if you're coming to the game or you're playing the game for a while now, this is acceptable in the fact that you can outright whale out for this Galactic Legend. But man, four Relic Gates, that is not cheap right there. Easily 200, 300, $400 plus just in Relic Gates. And we're not even looking at those Relic Sevens right there. Oh. But I guess on the upside as well, you're getting several decent good teams out of this. No, I mean, excluding Tuscan Raider. Bad Batch, fantastic top 10 uh, team in the game. Second best non-legendary team. Tuscan Raider, not going to get much use out of him. Padme Amidala, Padme teams are still decent in the game. We got some bounty hunter stuff going on between Jedi Master Kenobi and Lord Vader. You're going to be able to put a decent bounty hunter team together, but you didn't really need a Relic 7 Sam Wessel. Why not Relic 3 or 5 for Sam Wessel? No need. It's straight up torture. Who's the man? Who's the person hiding behind the curtain picking out these numbers for us here? So I guess on the upside, these are all for the most part usable characters, with the worst being Tusky Raider and Zam Wessel being a bit questionable. Newt Gunray, Count Dooku, they're good characters, but they're just not needed at such an absurdly high uh relic levels in here. But guys, we shouldn't be too surprised with this right here. At the end of the day, what do we say when we do our speculation? Our requirements, they're looking for characters that people might either have but not at high gear or relic levels or just they don't have at all and we're kind of seeing what characters people didn't have up and running and i gotta just say i am beyond frustrated and annoyed that they're putting grandma target in here newt gunnery count duke i mean count duke could find that's actually understandable they're putting them in over ahsoka tano over freaking captain rex r2d2 like holy cow these are the characters pivotal to the storyline of Je jedi Knight anakin going to the status of lord vader and none of these characters yes a lot of people have these up and running but you could do what you're doing here and require those absurdly high relics like a relegate arc trooper why don't you do like a relegate ahsoka tano hey at least there's a ship out of that too a relegate r2 yes a lot of people have these characters up and running but why is it we can't make these characters that are, that are so important to the upbringing of Skywalker, the story in the Skywalker saga. They're nowhere to be seen. I am beyond frustrated just for that matter, even excluding the absurdity of the Relic 7 and Relic 8. I just can't believe that the, the key characters part of Anakin Skywalker's journey are just simply not here. It's a journey event. We're trying to go through the journey of a fallen hero of the Republic. And what do we get? We get Embo. No, no disgrace, my boy Embo. I got deep respect for Embo. But come on, seriously, <laughs> Jeez, I just, I don't know, guys. Um, 
I'm excited for Lord Vader, don't get me wrong, but I gotta say, man, these requirements have been really tough to swallow, but I'm, I'm putting out those positives for you guys. These are characters that are usable. They either have ships, they're decent characters overall. You're gonna get some use out of them. You're gonna get a lot of good teams out of Lord Vader. I gotta say this one more time before we start exiting this video. Out of almost all of the requirements we've had for Ride of Galactic Legends, in terms of the quality of characters and the teams you can form, Lord Vader might have the first or second best ones combined. Like Supreme to cover, one of the upsides of his farm is you're putting together a lot of great teams, logical teams, on your way to getting the Galactic Legend. And then once you finally you get the Galactic Legend unlocked, you're able to actually put together logical teams. As a result, the best team for First Order is generally Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren, Sith Trooper, Hawks, and Insert, First Order, Stormtrooper, or Phasma, First Order Officer. Literally, the best teams are right here in the requirements. Lord Vader, the one downside I'm seeing right now is I don't know if these requirements are going to be used <laughs> to build the best Lord Vader team. You got to wait and see on the kit. Got to wait and see on the tags. But at least you're getting decent teams. Out. You're getting a 501st, first, getting kind of a bad man with Dalla, and you're getting a bad bitch and a quasi bounty hunter. Separatist lineup, but man, I don't know. This I, They know that this was a highly anticipated character for Star Wars Galaxies, and they are going to capitalize on it, hence the name in capital games all right that's gonna be enough raging rant for today uh my imperial intelligence is telling me that we might have more videos to put out today i'm hearing that we might be seeing the executor buffs as well as the nerfs and possibly some more nerfs against the teams beating jedi master Kenobi. so hold on we might have some more stuff later on today but in the meantime let me know your thoughts down below are you excited for four relic gates and dozens of relic sevens you guys tell me down below as always great seeing you guys in the biggest and deadliest star destroyer an absolute privilege to have you guys here in the kyber club make sure you like comment down below and subscribe so you're not missing a thing and until next time always remember it's great to be in the empire today i'll see you on the flippity flip